Hello everyone, I am Kali of Gaming and welcome back to another episode of the F1 2019 uh, career mode. Um, this time we are going to the Silverstone circuit and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of these uh, F1 videos or racing content. So yeah, let's go to the qualifying. It's time once again then for qualifying here at Silverstone on what we're hoping will be a tight contest for pole position. Many of the drivers commented on the challenge posed by the high-speed direction changes around the circuit. But you still need to be quick in a straight line. Is that a fair layman's appraisal? It's easy to make your car quick in a straight line. You just take all the downforce off. But when it comes to a track like this, you really need a bit more of a compromise. The main focus here is carrying speed through the fast-flowing corners, but you still don't want to be a sitting duck on the straight. So, here it is, the, Sil the British Grand Prix here at Silverstone. So I'm going to take you a lap around this former uh, air base in the 1940s, I think. So, now we're going through Maggot and Beckett and preparing to start... A lap and I'm actually uh, very sorry about the audio it's corrupt it seems like kind of not sure why but um, you just need to get on with it basically so now going through Stowe last few corners you can run wide there at a, that's the esports line and uh, the game will not do anything with that coming around the final few corners to start the lap a little bit onto the sausage, sausage curb there, not great. But turn one, you can... I think you can take that flat, flat out. Now to turn three, heartbreaking zone, third gear through this. And, that, and then going to turn four, second gear. Now going to the... I, I forgot what the hangar straight I think it's called. Um, and then... Next turn, fourth gear, you just need hold on, and then you've got this uh, quite long right hander, and then go through the. Uh, before it is the start finish straight, but now it's not. Now, coming into cops, you need to be very brave here. Take a lot of those curbs on the right hand side, and then now, Maggots and Beckett need to uh, switch your car's balance quite easily and uh, use a lot of those curbs and I've just gone a little bit wide I'm gonna restart that lap because yeah it's not possible to have that uh, it will definitely compromise your lap going into the grass and uh, yeah so another try the maggots and beckets a little bit wide but we, it's it's not losing too much time there and uh, we're up by seven tenths on Magnuson. Uh, beware, uh, the difficulty now, this race will be 95. And, uh, cause I, uh, actually, I've recorded the next, uh, the next one, which is Germany already. Um, that race will be 100. So I'm trying to scale the difficulty higher to be, I guess, trying to be as competitive, cause we're in the Toro Rosso, it's not that quick. So, uh, yeah, we, I'm just trying to put myself in a place that where Toro Rosso should be. So, uh, easily get through Q1. Now, coming to Q2, uh, first lap with the medium compound of tyres. Uh, trying to set a banker lap. Uh, we got really wide after Stowe there, the corner exit, but still okay with it. You can get away with that, actually. And now, final, the chicane part, messed up a little bit because we just don't have 
the sort of grip that uh, we have on those soft tyres and just, yeah, just ran wide a little bit. And that is actually decent, but could have been better. Now, um, we're down to P11 in Q2 uh, with that medium uh, lap, medium set of tyres lap. Now we're going to go back to soft tyres because we can't make that work. And, uh, yeah, we're just diving down to, uh, turn 6, now turn 7. Third gear through here, of course. And then corner exit a little bit poor. And then Jeff, I have no idea what he's saying, because the audio is really corrupted. Now, through cops, can be a little bit braver and, uh, touch those curbs on the outside. As you can see, that's the limit, but I'm under the limit, so, yeah, I can... Go a little bit brave there, Maggots and Beckett. Um, I can. It's hard for me to get uh, Beckett's right for me because I just can't get the car turned in and uh, can have a decent corner exit. But now, uh, Stow. And then breaking to the chicane here. Uh, final corner. And there we go. That's. I think that's decent. That will get us P2 in uh, Q2. But of course, top 10 still undecided um, by the looks of it. Valtteri Bottas made it through medium tyres. So we need to watch out with that. Just saying. He's on medium tyres. So definitely, his strategy will be uh, different to us. So let's get into Q3. Now Q3, first lap, um, turn around the chicane, actually decent, uh, decent corner exit as well, and across the line it is 1.1 seconds behind Bottas, uh, that's really fast, 28.9 I think. Now, the second lap, uh, qualifying is ending in 3 seconds, and then we're going through turn 4, of course you can uh, complete a hot lap uh, after check flag is down and uh, we're just gaining marginally mod just by two hundredths of a second we ran pretty wide there but uh lose some time there so uh not really great so i need to uh just correct that basically um yeah as well we're up by a little bit a break much more here and then now to turn seven and you just this corner is really important to get your corner exit right slow and fast out it's the principle of motor racing basically especially uh after the corner it's a long straight it's very important so uh now coming to maggots and beckett's and then we're gonna just kill it basically not really breaking too much riding those curbs and actually that's a good exit onto i think this is called the heli hangar straight and up to stow that's a purple sector two that means we're fastest by all uh, we're fastest of all of the drivers um after stow it's the chicane part again and uh, decent braking there and then just trying to get on the power eagerly and across the line it is P4 that isn't bad consider considering we just uh, increase the difficulty of AI and not bad four tenths uh, between me and Lewis Hamilton and uh, of course uh, Albon knocked out but we are better the Red Bulls, it very surprising. Toro Rosso is better than the Red Bull right now. Yeah, let's go to the race. The 3.6 miles of Silverstone Circuit in Great Britain is hallowed ground for the Formula 1 faithful. 
We have a team of ballers that wrap around this former World War II airbase and some good, good passing opportunities at the end of the DRS zone. Alongside Lee, once again, again coming to today's race, 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 it's none, none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about cars. As we look at this list, they may have a lot of ambition, but Formula One's are the ones that to step up from any other series. series. So, so expectations are high right from the start. start. So that's right, it is a difficult environment to come into. In junior, junior categories, you're competing with drivers with similar, similar levels of experience. experience. But, but some of these guys, guys in Formula One, one have been there for over a decade. decade. But for that to say, in this case, case it's so so good. good. Before, Before we begin, let's, let's take a quick look at the red line, line up for today's race. And then Ben Slap, who was in his hand here yesterday, puts him on pole position, and it's now three bottoms that complete the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bethel, Carter, Charles Leclerc, and Verstappen, Perez, Weber, Raikkonen, and Nico Hulkenberg, Norris, Butler, Alexander Albon, and Magnussen, Rocha, Ricardo, Pierre Gasly, and Lance Stroll, Russell, and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. And now it's time, it's time to head down to the track. So, I'm, I'm re I really apologize for that corrupted audio, I have no idea why, but today here at Silverstone, it's a simple one stop from the soft tires to the hard, uh, to medium tires, as uh, the, actually the tire wear isn't too hard. Um, so I'm just trying to switch maybe a little bit of uh, alternate strategy, trying to go a bit later onto the soft tires um uh, probably I'll, I'll pit lap 9 cuz yeah i think it's it's better to pit on lap 9 cuz the tire starts to go off and you'll just lose a lot and actually silverstone if i remember correctly it has the longest pit straight uh, pit lane of all so we're going to lose a lot of time doing this but um i think oh uh, undercut would work here better but uh five lights out and away we go for the british grand prix season one well alongside leclerc a vettel a bit slow there and then compromises our line to turn three and then a uh, little bit of hard racing there touching its side pod but uh got away without any damage vettel is really under pressure from me here. I hope I can try and kill him here. Uh, but not so close. He just parked it right out the middle of the straight line. And now uh, Leclerc is, uh, well, Leclerc is doing absolute bits there. And uh, we need to uh, do that again. But we now this time go around the outside. Uh, a bit wide, didn't work out the trick, just can't get past Vettel, um, just blocking uh, on the apex and uh, well, we're gonna slot in for P4, Leclerc though, um, very close behind, so uh, we need to watch out for that now, going through Maggot and Beckett. Uh, bit twitchy on the rear end uh, not not a great line not a great line through the series of corners and now Leclerc is having a run here I'm gonna pinch him and we made contact but all things are fine not like the Brazilian Grand Prix when he uh, uh, collided with Vettel that's some uh, crazy stuff in Vettel I don't know why but Vettel finally uh, said German which is uh, abnormal so probably that means he's angry by some margins I'm not sure but uh, well yeah it's now lap 2 Vettel in front uh, probably challenged Bottas but we're not looking in front we're looking behind us Leclerc is having another run through us he actually made the move there but we late breaking and uh, got that move done. A little bit wide again, but uh, you know, it's okay to do that. 
um, to the chicane part, it's all done. Uh, we can still hold on to P4, but Verstappen is crucially now behind us. Uh, the senior Red Bull team and uh, whatever. Now, lap three. Uh, trying to make a move there here on Vettel. He's been a little bit slow because of Bottas. And uh, we've got a bad exit there. And Verstappen. Wow, he's made a move there. But, um, well, he's just backed out of the corner somehow. Not sure. Now, lap five. Um... Lance Stroll is actually out of the session. He's, uh, I think he's got an engine problem here. Yes, it's an engine problem. Uh, he's going to retire from the British Grand Prix from now on. Uh, sad for him. Not Actually, I'm not sure where he is, so... Yeah. So now, lap six. It's been a defensive uh, race, to be fair. We're not challenging up front. But uh, we made a solid defense there. Actually, there's some more contact between Leclerc and me. And uh, not great. I hope less contact. But um, he's hunting me down here, Leclerc. I think he might have a go here. He's closing rapidly. And uh, no, he's not going to have a move on Stowe. But I ran extremely weird into the grass. And then he has a move. But I break late and uh, still holding on to that place. Hard racing, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just hard racing. On the limit. If it, yeah, if a little bit over that one, it'll probably be a penalty then. But whatever. Lap 9, we're closing up to Bottas. But Verstappen is behind us. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we got three wide into stow and actually we we're gonna pit this lap and actually i made the move but we're gonna pit in so uh might have been might have compromised uh bottas's and vettel's race uh maybe not sure but uh let's see what uh after like all of the pit stops have been made and stuff like that where let's see where we are basically but uh, longest straight, uh, longest pit lane of all, I think, in the calendar. And uh, that is a medium tire on to the car. A little bit hold on. Uh, I think it's my clutch. I still haven't, like, got used to my uh, TMX Pro clutch pedal. Um, so, uh, yeah, it might be a little bit slow. But actually, the pit stop is decent. It's 2.2 seconds only. So, uh, yeah... It's not too bad, really. To so come out basically last place. Because everyone hasn't, like, most of... I don't think anyone has made pit stop yet. But um, that's a little bit of twitch. And if Verstappen goes ahead of me. But crucially, uh, we're ahead of Leclerc, as always. And actually, Vettel is... I think Vettel, yeah, Vettel is behind us. And uh, Verstappen gets ahead of us because of that mistake. But now lap 12, uh, going to Stowe, we're closing up rapidly here. We're going to make a sabotage dive bomb. And uh, crucially, we get ahead of Verstappen and we made it stick. So yeah, now lap 13, we're on to a very good lap here. And uh, actually set the fastest lap of all, 32.4. That's not too bad, actually. Now, fifth, lap 15 now. It starts of the defensive work against Verstappen here. Verstappen. Um, he's right against me on Stow. Didn't make it work. I uh, just squeeze him on to, uh, in the outside and uh, still have the position uh, through the chicane. Now, lap 16. Uh... He is really rapidly closing. He has the pace right now, so I don't think we can like do much. But uh, we're just trying to hold on here. But um, we still have the move uh, stick. But uh, he looks up to the inside of turn seven there, and uh, we got a little bit of bad exit. And uh, he's well there, but didn't move. Didn't have a move there. Now lap seventeen, he's closing up again. 
quite rapidly, squeeze him to the outside. Actually, we made contact a bit there, and uh, yeah, just heart racing basically. Uh, made contact, I think, with the rear, and uh, yeah, just live on to fight another day. Now, lap 18, and he, this time he's just rapid. There's no way we can catch him and uh, that is we're down to P3 so yeah we can't do much Red Bull is still Red Bull Toro Rosso can't match them but um lap 18 we're actually closing to the staff in here will we make a tie bomb no we won't but uh, we've gone a little bit wide there and actually Valtteri Bottas I've mentioned in qualifying he started on medium tires and uh, he's now on soft tires, and he's right behind us. And, uh, yeah, it's not great here. He's right behind us, and he's closing up rapidly here. And uh, give him no space there, and actually he pushed us wide. It was side by side through turn two, and now turn three, break later. And he does, and that is me holding on to P3. And actually Verstappen on lap 19 has some issues, and you can see it's so easy to pass him. So uh, we get back P2, and let's see, can we hold on to this position? Now lap 22, Valtteri Bottas on those soft compound of tyre, and he's just rapidly, he's just so fast, slippery Mercedes. That's what I'm going to call them. Um, yeah. No match. Still no match. So, uh, yeah. He just easily passed us. Seven but, um, whatever. We still hold on to P3. Vettel, nowhere to be seen, actually. Uh, but, crucially, Lewis Hamilton wins the race and setting the fastest lap of the race. Same as the 2019 British Grand Prix. And but the difference is we're coming home uh, to claim P3, another podium place in uh, another podium in non name. And uh, well, it's a Mercedes one two again. We we should be not we shouldn't be surprised about that. Um, they're always one two, but yeah. It's a decent race. It's a very, very decent race for us. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So let's review the updated driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalize on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. So, that is it, guys. Hope you guys fully enjoy today's uh, British Grand Prix uh, career mode episode probably 10 I think um, I really enjoyed that one you got really have some heart racing with the top guys and uh, actually Toro Rosso starts to move up uh, in the field in the R&D table if you don't know we got some really good uh, resource points 930 and we got 500 like basically uh, acquiring 
the objective. So, uh, yeah, P3. So, uh, let's head to the R&D table or just trying to upgrade our stuff. But we're winning the rivalry again and uh, by quite a margin, quite significantly. To be honest with you, um, we're gonna fix that development that has uh, failed actually last that I think I put it last weekend. But now we got the engine one, double engine upgrade. Uh, I think it's gonna come next week. And uh, we got uh, a single chassis upgrade. And uh, yeah, I don't think we have any resource points available to make another upgrade so uh yeah that is it guys hope you guys enjoy please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys later bye